Yeah, boy, check out this mess. Oh, oh. what the flip? <laughs> Yo, check it out, we're wearing the same uniform. Windy. <laughs> anyway, this is Josh's house, so let's check it out. Done it yet again. So, yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Alrighty, so we're at Josh's house. As I've said to you guys in last week's video, we are going to be doing a full renovation on this place here. Yo. So, I have to check it out. Today we're pulling some trees down. Um, I think it's that one. Anyway, we'll find out in a minute. I'm pulling some trees down. So, this is his yard. Give a squeeze it. It's got like a little L shaped section. I've got some work to do. Section there, up there, and then just out the front, which you guys saw before, which there is a crazy amount of rocks out the front, like a scary amount of rocks. Um, but there's mostly cooch out the back here. Cooch and a bit of kikuyu and stuff, but Josh has sprayed round up on it all, and it's gonna be gone. What tree's taking that, bruh? So it's taking this claret ash out. Claret ash. It's half dead. Fancy. And this one over here. It drops fruit everywhere. Nice. What do you reckon? <laughs> so he's taking out all these, this shrubbery. Um, this little stumpy tree thing here. And you know, pretty much a lot of it. We'll level it out as well, obviously, with a bit of soil. Oh yeah, pull it out. And then we're gonna pull out these, are they agapenses, aren't they? I don't even know. We're gonna pull these bad boys out anyway. I'm not good with plants. Then these rocks. Oh, more rocks. Up there, up there, up there. Take that one out. There's all these ones here. Yeah. There's rocks everywhere. Right, so this video is a little bit broken up. Um, I didn't really explain what's going on too much, but basically we're pulling out all the trees at Joss's house here with one of our good mates, John Walls. Um, we're basically getting it ready for him to do the renovation, install the irrigation and you know just have a nice looking yard to see it out of that Kentucky bluegrass. So getting rid of those trees, um, man his yard's a mess. Josh has just been sending me through some photos right now actually um, with the rocks he's been pulling out of his yard and it is ridiculous. So yeah we'll get into the video now, we'll show, show some footage of some trees being chopped down and then what it looks like afterwards but yeah this is the start of the renovation. Keen. Right, I'm just going to wrap it up there for today and I'll come back in a couple of days and we'll see the progress because I've got to go now but trees getting close to going down then we've got to do this tree next. See you soon. Alright, we are back and my finger is all fixed up so I'll explain that in a minute but look at this. That tree is gone, just a stump left. 
Gone skis and that bad boy is gone too. Flip. So heaps tidier here now, which is good. So now all we've got left to do is basically we've got to now stump like grind those stumps. Yeah, they're getting done on Monday. These two. Yeah. Man, brain. That. Well, some of the grass still isn't dead. Oh, I missed that spot and redid it. Oh, right. How's the coach going? Still alive? Not much left to do really. Irrigation's gonna go in. We're gonna go next week, you reckon? One afternoon, I reckon. A few afternoons. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right. So Josh's gonna bring in the excavator here tomorrow. So all those rocks we were talking about in the front yard in the backyard, he's bringing an excavator tomorrow and a truck and going to try and pull it all out. See how we go. But yeah, it's gonna be fun, man. And then after that, we'll put in the irrigation. So hopefully, we can pull some of these. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully you can get all those rocks out. Yeah, another rock there. Well, at least, how are you going to get the excavator past this? Oh, I'm just Oh, mad bro. <laughs> Clothes landed up. So yeah. So hopefully this excavator pulls all these rocks out. See how it goes. And once the stump grinding's done, basically, we're ready to go because Josh's going to cut and fill a few areas because you can see it's a bit high up here and then really low down to that area there, so he's just going to cut and fill some dirt with the excavator and push a lot of it down the bottom as well, and same out the front, so it'll nearly be ready to put the irrigation in, and then we're going to seed this Kentucky Blue. So, there's all the remainder of that tree. Firewood, boy. I wish that's all it was. Isn't that, didn't you get rid, isn't that all of it? No, I mean like, that's all it was to start off with. Oh, right. Um, then obviously he's got to get rid of these big rocks again, like we were telling you guys. Look at this finger. <laughs> so these bad boys, so hopefully the excavator gets most of it out. But who knows how big some of these suckers are going to be. Ooh, well, I the crowbar pretty far out and I reckon it's out here somewhere. Yeah. So I don't know. See, see where it's all dead? Yeah. I think all the bear patches where rocks are. And there's a lot of bear patches. So. Crap. Well hopefully we'll get it all out. Hey girl! What you doing? <laughs> Just woke up. You're a bit tired. Hey boy. Oh. And that was a big tree. Sweet. Alright, well, that's about it. That's about it. Alright, thanks guys so much for watching. Look forward to the rest of the project lawn videos on this place because there's a lot to do. <laughs> What's wrong with that bloke? Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it and you have a good week. Right, so I just want to apologise for this rushed video. Um, I wasn't supposed to put this video out this week. I was going to do one on wetting agent, but unfortunately I smashed my finger the other day at work. So the story behind this is this week was renovation re week sorry, at work and we were renovating the golf greens. So on Thursday, which was yesterday, we were top dressing the golf greens and I was hooking up the top dresser and my finger got caught between the top dresser and the tractor. So <laughs> it wasn't pretty, I'll tell you what freaked me out. Um, anyway, it, it basically, my nail flicked up, um, it cut right down to the bone, and then a little bit of my finger was dangling. It just was not a pretty sight. It was freaky. So I freaked out. Josh said, my brother, I was running around in circles, just going, <coughs> and then I just started sprinting off to the hospital, because luckily the hospital is right next to work. So I just sprinted off to the hospital, ran to emergency. The emergency chick freaked out when she saw my finger and then yeah, had surgery um, yesterday. Originally they told me my top of my finger was going to be missing because it was technically the bone was almost like snapped clean off but luckily they could put a wire in there and attach it back up. I don't know exactly what they did. I was out of it when they were telling me what happened after the anaesthetic but yeah, it's all good. I got my whole finger so we're good which I'm so glad but anyway, sorry if this video was a bit of a muddle. Um, I'm editing, um, yeah, whilst still trying to get over this thing, but yeah, it's all good. I'm not really in that much pain. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be anyway. Thanks guys, and I'll see you later.